Hey everyone, Adwins here and I'm back with a new unit review. It's been quite a long time, but I took the opportunity to take a break from videos after the announcement of the NA server's closure. I probably would have come back sooner, but I started getting into D&D, card stores in my area opening up again, and the pandemic is still a thing so work sucks, so... anyway. I'm back for the moment and hopefully I can get back into the swing of things, which might be harder now that I have to worry about catching up on old R2 units and then spirit enhancement. Uh, let's just get started with our sweet junkie Jun. She's a support type who actually surpasses all other support types in all stats, but in the grand scheme of things, she has high HP, all right defense, and middle of the road attack. Oh, I guess I should mention these are pre spirit enhancement stats. God, I'm not looking forward to adding all that to my sorter. She's a charge gorilla who's... oh... well, she's definitely a charge gorilla with this connect. It grants a damage bonus, but on top of that, she also buffs damage done by charge discs. For the uninitiated, Technical Adept is a granted effect that's normally only on the SE trees of charge units like Momoko and Tsukuyo. This is part of a slow series of buffs to the charge mechanic because they're aware of how much we love charge as it is. The actual bonus usually ranges from 10 to 15%, except for Momoko who has it at 20%, but on a connect, Tech Adept is significantly more potent at 40 to 45%. There are many reasons why charge is inferior to Axel and Blast currently, and one of them is that there's no real reward for using individual charge discs. Axel builds more MP later in the combo, while Blast gets a straight up damage bonus in the second or third slots. Charge discs deal regular damage, unaffected by your charge count, so it's less enticing. You still get some MP and, well, increasing your charge count, so it's not wholly useless to use a C outside a C combo. But, with Tech Adept, this is somewhat fixed. These bonuses are not insignificant, especially with Jun and Mopus Connects. This means that characters with Tech Adept just plain have better damage output per combo with Charge Discs than with Axel Discs. It's honestly really great for Charge. Now, her Magia is pretty interesting, blinding enemies, buffing Charge payout damage, and it also regenerates MP over 3 turns. You get 22.5 MP total, which isn't bad. Not ideal for Magia spam, but it makes it easier anyway because you want the Magia for the charge damage buff. For her spirit enhancement, her active skill is defense minus 40%. Definitely good in the context of charge. Other notable passives include charm edge, damage cut, 3 tech adept nodes. 3! That's 45% damage bonus on her charge discs passively. And also, Charge Combo Plus. This is another ability added to try and buff charge. You know how if you get a charge combo, you get a bonus plus 5 to your charge count instead of 3? C Combo Plus adds additional charge points when you get a charge combo. For example, if you get a charge combo with Jun on the team, you get plus 8 instead of plus 5 to your charge count. What if you have multiples of this ability? Well, it used to be that only the highest bonus applied. So if you also had CC plus 1 on your team, it would be overwritten. Did they really think that stacking charge combo plus was going to be too much? Well, we'll find out, as along with Jun's release, they've updated the ability to allow it to stack. It really seems like they're making the effort to fix charge. They even announced a new event type where using charge would give you an advantage, and Jun's release is surely no coincidence. She really is a fantastic charge unit, probably the best. She's the kind of head-turner unit that makes you want to try charge stuff out. Also, she's a head-turner because she's hot. But is charge good enough now? Well, I don't think so. Getting higher charge counts quickly means nothing if the payoff isn't quite there. But increasing charge's overall damage output compared to the other two discs is a tremendous step in the right direction. If you want to know more, Raz has a couple of videos going into great detail on why charge is underpowered, and he even takes a look at the new update. I'm optimistic that charge will take its rightful place at the top one day. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. This message was sponsored by the Wings of Chargius.